In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to publish an application to the Google Play Store from Adalo. The first thing you need to do is create a Google Developer account. This Google Developer account, the link is going to be in the description of this video. It is $25 for life, which is amazing compared to Apple. You want to make sure you're signed in with the account, the Google account you want to use. So a Google account is going to be the requirement. Because I already have an account, it doesn't take me directly to the dashboard. It takes me to my dashboard, my account dashboard. Um, so I can't show you that, but the link is in the description. The next thing we want to do is to go to Firebase. Again, this is good. The link's going to be in the bio. Just make sure you sign into Firebase with the same email you created your developer account with. And we're going to go to add project. We're going to name our project. We're going to scroll down. We're going to enable analytics. You're going to, if you enable analytics, you're going to connect it to a Google Analytics account or you're going to create a new account. I'll just connect it to my current, but you don't have to enable Google Analytics. So what it's going to do is just going to create our project. Simple as that, just taking a couple seconds. So now I'll click continue. And what we're going to do next is open the project second settings and configure some settings to be able to, to deploy our application from our dialer. Next, we're going to configure the settings and download some necessary packages. So we're going to go to project overview, then project settings. And what we want to do is scroll down and we want to click on this Android sign right here. And we're going to fill some of this in. So you want to type something in like con dot, uh, if I just go back, con dot, uh, uh, web free, something that's formatted like this. You don't have to give it a nickname, but if I just give it a nickname, then I want to click register app. What you need next is this config file. So you do need to download this config file. We can click next. You don't have to worry about this. You can click next and that's it. And you can continue to console load our private key. So we want to go to service accounts. From service accounts, we scroll down and generate new private key. We click generate key and it downloads the key that we need. And that's how we download our private key. Next, we want to generate our build file. So we actually go back to Adalo, to the application we're building. And once we're ready to submit, we go to publish, we go to Android app, and I'm going to click update settings because I've actually changed this. So we're going to enter the bundle ID. If you remember this weird kind of name with .com at the beginning, and it was web free. And I delete that, and I delete this. So what I want to do is click here. I'm going to go to downloads. And I have to make sure I actually have quite a number here. So I have to make sure I actually upload the right thing. So I need the front end Google services, JSON. So I go to choose file, I, I moved it to my desktop. So Google services is the right one, I believe. And if I go down, web free is the other one. And I click next. 
this is my icon that I want. This is the name that I want. So I save Android settings. And what you actually do is you have to start a new Android build. So it's just going to open that again, click save and continue. It's going to have a version number and you're going to click start new build. And you're going to let this build and then download the file. Once you have downloaded your build file, you know, or once the build file has finished uh, building, uh, you download it and then you want to go to your Google Play console. The link is in the description and you want to create a new app. You want to name your app and this is will be what will be seen in the Google Play Store. And I have an app, I can say it's free and I'm going to accept and I'll go to create app. This is going to create the app and it gives me some steps to follow. So the first step is start testing now. So we can create tests. So I'm going to add a tester. changes and I'm going to go back to my dashboard and one thing you will notice is that it says one of three complete so I want to create a new release now and I'm going to create a new release all I have to do is drag and drop what I just downloaded and I'll give that some time to load So once that has finished uploading, you'll see something similar to this and you can put some release notes there. But what you do want to do is save and you want to review the release. It does say there's one error. So it says it needs a privacy policy set. So we're going to have to set a privacy policy. So what we want to do is just on the left, scroll all the way down, go to app content, and we are going to have to go through this. So I'm going to start here, privacy policy, and all you have to do is attach a privacy policy URL. Uh, I might show you how to do this in another tutorial, but for now, I am just going to grab one of my URLs and put it there for the privacy policies I use. Once you have put a privacy policy, you want to go back. And as you can see, that privacy policy part has has disappeared. So we want to go ads. My app doesn't contain ads. And you want to go back. That's disappeared and app access. And So I want to, you want to give Google access to your app as a user. For all users. Then just going to usernames, Google at gmail.com. And I just make this up. Um, password is a Google. And there's no other instructions that they need. I just need to make sure they can log into my app. And I'm going to click save. Now I move back. That should disappear. Content ratings. I start the questionnaire and it's going to ask you a bunch of questions. Um, if I. And I'm just thinking about my app social good or other types of app. It doesn't contain any weird content. No social features. No. No. 
no. It's not a search engine. And I think I might have been missing a question. Oh no, click save, click next. And I click submit. So now I'll go back, fill in this one, 18 and over. No, there's nothing that will unintentionally appeal to children. And I just click save. And then I'll go back again. News apps, COVID. So I've got a couple more to do. It's not a news app. It's not a COVID app. And data safety. So now, go through this. It's encrypted. Yes, they can request their data. I don't request any location data. I do request personal info. So I request name, email address, and I guess personal identifier. That's all I request. Oh, I do also request app performance, and that's it. So we have to say it's collected. Data collection is required. So completing, and we do the same here. So data is collected, don't share no information. It's required. Oh. I actually have to go back because I didn't scroll all the way down on the last one. So. Not analytics, not developer communication, but personalization and account management. Same thing, personal identifiers. App functionality, personalization, and account management. So I do the same with this app info, collected, analytics, and that's it. Collected. So we say yes, and analytics next, and we save that. Now this time when we go back, I think we have completed everything. So when we actually scroll up to internal testing, we can review and roll out release. And I can start rollout to internal testing. And you'll say it will be available to our internal testers. So now internal testers are available to test the app. And I can change the track and make it open to, to I make I can make an open open testing where it's actually in the the App Store or the Google Play Store, sorry, and random people can test my app or people that are just advocates. 
and I could also put it into production too. We just created a release for internal testing, but now we actually want to change that and move it to open testing. And in open testing, it actually goes to the Google Play Store. It won't be in production. I'm not going to do a production release for this particular app, but when you take it to open testing, it's very similar to production. So what I'm going to do is go to open testing. I am going to set out the track. I'm going to go to releases. Oh, I'm going to, to go select countries, add regions. I'm just going to add everywhere. So we, we're now at two of four. I want to create a new release. And in this release, I am going to upload. I need to find my downloads. Okay, the, the file I want to find is this one. So I'm going to go back. Did it log out? Okay. And I'm going to drag this here. We're going to give that some time to upload. So we have uploaded our app bundle. And what we want to do again is click save. But this time, when we go to review release, it's going, it should tell us that we do have some errors. And we have to complete some steps to put it in the app store. So we haven't worked on our app store listing. We've done all the primary things, but we need to add the category and provide contact details and set up the app store listing. So we're going to add the category first. Um, the category, let's say it falls under finance. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to leave the tags for now. Um, website. Uh, there's actually no website. I'm going to leave this off, actually. Uh, I don't really want them to advertise outside. So the changes have been saved. I'm going to go back to the dashboard and I need to set up the listing. So here we're going to need some things. We're going to need an app icon, feature graphic, uh, phone screenshots, tablet screenshots. And I'm not going to show you how to make this in this tutorial. I'm just showing you how to publish to the Google Play Store, but you're going to need those things, the, the assets to put with the Google Play Store. In addition to thinking very carefully about your short description and full description, uh, we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to put something out there. But you do want to spend some time thinking about your full description, especially if you want your app to be just discovered in the Google Play Store. So I'm going to say find new web free resources. Find hundreds of new web free resources every day. And then in the full description, I'm going to say something like what's new, new, um, categories. resource categories and say new web free resources. So I'm going to leave that as that for now. App icon, I am actually going to come back to that. Feature graphics, so I know where my feature graphic is. I should know where my feature graphic is.
Maybe if I go to downloads. Oh no, it's not web free. It's uh... this is it. So you can see it right there, and I'm gonna go to my phone screenshots and find my phone screenshots. So I believe the number is 84, no. We have to find the right phone screenshots. Maybe I didn't download it. Hmm. Uh, or maybe I named it. Okay, I don't think I downloaded it. Okay, yeah, here it is. So there's one. There's two, and we need to upload a minimum of three. So all I do is I preview the app on my phone, and then I take a screenshot. That's the easiest way for me. We're going to do a similar thing. For this. So ING for three and eighty two. Two. So now we almost have everything we need. I need, I do need to upload an app icon. So I'm gonna go, go to Canva. Hopefully, I can find my logo. In my design somewhere. did make it a while ago so we will see if i can actually find it wasn't that long ago there it is so i need to change the dimensions i make all the graphics in canva super easy to use i'm going to resize this and download it. Now that this is downloaded, I can just drag and drop here. And I'm going to click save. Now I'm going to go back to my dashboard. <clears throat> And I want to review. So I'm going to review this. And start rollout to open testing. Rollout. <clears throat> and it's in review. So if I go back to dashboard. 
or I actually go back to my apps, you will see, you will see here. So it's internal testing, but also here it says in review. So it will take up to 24 hours for Google to review your app and approve it or deny it for whatever re reason. Usually they're pretty good and pretty responsive. But then you'll be able to see your app in the App Store, especially when it's open, it's open testing or above. So that is how you publish your app to the Google Play Store from Odalo. Please like, comment and subscribe for more no code content and happy hacking.